known as lithotripsy. Now, what is lithotripsy? First, let us understand the meaning. Litho means stone, whereas tripsy means to break or to crush. So, first let us look at what is an ellipse. An ellipse is a generalization of a circle. It has a minor axis and a major axis. It has two focal points. L let us see what the focal points do. See, we can see that the two focal points such that the sum of the distances to the two focal points is constant for every point on the curve. So, now let us look at the next property of the ellipse. The one important property of the ellipse is its reflective property. Let us see how it is. If you, if you put, if you position a light rays in one focal point, it, it will pass through the other focal point. This is the re reflective property. Even shock waves can pass through. So this is unique only to the ellipse. This, is, this has inspired many medical, many, appli many applications and this allows us to crush kidney stones, crush kidney stones without, without surgery. Let us look at, let us look more into lithotripsy. A lithotripter, this is in figure A, we can understand, this is the lithotripter. A litho, now let's see what is the definition of, the, of a lithotripter. A lithotripter uses shock waves to successfully shatter a painful kidney stone into tiny pieces that can be passed by the body. This process is known as lithotripsy. The patient is put on a water cushion and is, and put, is put under the shock wave generator which is a half ellipse. The shock wave generator generates, generates shock wave. This right here is the x-ray. The x-ray locates where the kidney stones is. So this, the shockwave generator can be put directly under the, directly under the kidney stone. This, this acts as one focus whereas the kidney stones acts as the next focus. So the shockwaves are passed from here to here which breaks the kidney stone. If we do surgery, it will be more costly and moreover you will take weeks to recover. But for lithotripsy, you it you will take only days to recover, and it's a very cheap process. The, the process of breaking kidney stones is known as extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy. Now let us understand how. Now let us now that we know about lithotripsy, let us uh, let us do a real life situation. Okay, friends. Now we know about lithotripsy. Now let us do some maths with. Let's do some maths with the ellipse. So let us see a real life situation problem. The question is, suppose we have a major axis of 6 feet and a minor axis of 4 feet. To smash the kidney stone of a patient, how far should the patient be positioned from the source of the lithotripter? Let us see the answer. So now we, as we see here, suppose the major axis is 6 feet. So we can understand that a is e two a is equal to six. So a is equal to three. So the distance from this to this is equal to three. Now let us see the minor axis. We, as it is written here, let us understand that from the distance from here to here is four feet. So two b is equal to four. So b is equal to two. How how can we find that? Because four divided by two is equal to two. So we can understand that the distance from here to here is 2. Now let us find the answer. So C which is the distance between here to here is A square minus B square which is equal to 3 square minus 2 square which is equal to 5. So which is C is equal to plus or minus to the square root of 5. Now the answer is equal to distance between those two foci is 2 2 to the square root of 5 which is equal to 4.472 feet. The kidney so the answer is the kidney stone should be positioned at 4.472 feet from the source of shock wave. So we have worked out a real life situation problem. Just to make you understand how the lithotripsy works, let I have made a model of the ellipse. So you, you might have noticed these two red points. These are the foci. 
Suppose this blue, this pink ball is a shock wave and placed here which is the shock wave generator and this is the kidney stone. We see that this, when, we, when the shock wave is put, it passes through the kidney stone which breaks the kidney stone. This is, this is how the lithotripter works. So once again, we hit it to the side, it will pass and hit, pass through here. So this is how, this is the reflective property of the ellipse. I hope you enjoyed my video and understood about the ellipse and the medical application of the ellipse. Thank you.